I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today at Night Packing, talking to Daniela. Daniela, hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. So, Daniela, tell us what you do for a living. What um, is your profession? I work with Java since uh, 2006, and I work uh, with development and technical leadership as well. So, and you are leading projects and technical people, so how is that going? It's doing great, but I, I think the, the, the junior developers are, are a little lost sometimes, so you have to guide it uh, a lot so they can take care of the code. Uh, without um, the technical leadership, I think the code would be uh, worse than we, we have today, and we can deal with a lot of error prones, guiding them uh, first. At the, so, at the first steps. So, what are some of the advice that you that you give on a uh, regularly? Okay. Uh, the only thing that I, I usually uh, talk with my developers is when they found some issue or problem, uh, I always say to them to not just uh, look for the solution first, but just to understand the problem first, so they would be able to. Uh, find a better solution for the problem. I think this the the greatest uh, advice they could give to the technical leadership. So, and what about the code? I mean, are there like specifics that you ask them, like um, to make it simpler, maybe add more um, annotations to the yes, code? Yes, exactly. Because uh, joined to that, you have to have a lot of tools. Uh, that could help you to uh, track those uh, uh, those things that you are talking about related to code quality. Uh, for example, we use um, uh, what is the name? I forgot. <laughs> uh, we use TCity, we use uh, JUnity, we use Sonar, we use Veracode, and all the things that we could improve the code uh, quality. So this is. Do you use also Docker, which is seems to be very popular right now? Docker, uh, no. Docker, not yet, because we we don't automate uh, our environment yet. But we use another tools. Uh, for example, for automation, we use Liquibase for database. That's it's very nice for using it, and we also use uh, the IBM uh, solution for deployment. That you deploy. So that's very nice. Give us like an example of uh, the current project maybe that you're working on right now. Well, in the current project, we le we have a lot of teams uh, working together for t development, testing, and infrastructure, for example. So we have to guarantee from the development to the production that we have the same quality. For that, we have to use uh, all, uh, automated tools and automate our deployments as well, and automate our tests and sanity tests as well. So we have, uh, as we have a lot of team, different teams uh, working in different time zones. It's uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's very hard to to try to do those things. So you have to use automation. Without that, we are not able to. So where are all those right? teams? Well, uh, we have teams in Germany, in U USA, and India, and London, and Spain as well. And here in Brazil. <laughs> And so how is the communication going with all those teams? Because this is like a very different cultures as well. And a very, a, yes, yeah. yes. It, Any it recommendation is. there? So how to, um, to deal with multiple cultures? Or what are some of the things that you just do? Or you just ignore the cultures? And you well, you have to create um, patterns. Uh, you have to create standards for uh, the communication. For example, if you have to deploy something to an environment test, for example, your, your team test will have to know about that. So you have to create some uh, standard uh, related to communication, for example, emails or so on. So 
standard, try to create some standards for this communication that would get your life easier, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not an easy tax, right? Mm -hmm. no, it's on ongoing. Yeah. If everything was just a coding, the life would be easier. But right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There is always the human factor, right? Exactly. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you.